Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Google Calendar and ClickUp. So the use case here is, whenever a new event is created in Google Calendar, automatically create task in ClickUp. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Google Calendar is a calendar service by Google, whereas ClickUp is a project management tool. The issue here is that Google Calendar and ClickUp don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Google Calendar to ClickUp. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I'm going to hover over this product section and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow in your account. Okay, so now I am going to scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see so many workflows that have already been created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm going to click on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'll name it as Google Calendar to ClickUp. Okay, so now here in Choose App, first I am going to choose Google Calendar. This one. Okay, now in Trigger Event according to our workflow, whenever there is a new event in Google Calendar, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why new event created will be our trigger event over here. Now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, when a new event is created in Google Calendar, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why new event created in Google Calendar will be our trigger event, whereas creating a task in ClickUp will be our action event. So now I am going to click on connect with Google Calendar. So now credentials, create new or select existing credentials. So here you have two options, either you can create new credential or if you have any existing credentials like this, you can directly click on it. I'll let it be new credentials. Okay, so now I'm going to click on connect with Google Calendar. So here I'll just choose an account, allow, you don't have to worry about your data, everything is 100% safe and secure with Pabli Connect. Okay, so now here first you have to choose which calendar do you want. Under Google Calendar, you can see the Gary Monroe account has all these separate separate calendars. So I'll let it be Gary Monroe, this one itself. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so now this API response is of the last event that I have created in my Google Calendar. So now what I'm going to do is I am just going to go back to Google Calendar and I'm going to create a new event and then I'm going to click on save and send test request. So I'll go to my Google Calendar. So now here I have already clicked on Gary Monroe and now January 2021. So I'll go to January 2021 and I'm going to create an event on 14th of Jan. So I'll name it as meeting regarding new recruitment. Okay, so I have put the meeting on January 14th. I'll add a time also. 2.15 p.m. Okay, fine, 315, fine. Now add guest, if you want, you can add the guests over here. Add location, I'm not adding any location. Add description, if you want, you can just write a description. Um, if I go down, Gary Monroe, fine, save. 
Okay, so I have created this event over here on 14th Jan. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so you can see Pabli Connect has captured the data. The summary is meeting regarding new recruitment. The creator is here. If you go down, you can see the start date and time and date and time. So now I'll just save it. So now here we have successfully finished our first step integration. That is integration of Google Calendar and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on this plus button and we are going to begin our second step integration. So in choose app first, I am going to choose ClickUp. Now an action event according to our workflow, whenever a new event is created in Google Calendar, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why I am going to choose create task because this is our action event over here. If you want, you can also choose any other action event according to your choice. And if you don't get the action event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli .com. So now I am going to click on connect with ClickUp. Again, create new or select existing credentials. So here you have an option of either choosing any existing credential or you can just let be new credentials. So now here it is asking us for the API token. In order to get your API token, you have to go to your ClickUp account. So I've already opened my ClickUp account over here. Now in my left hand side corner in the bottom side, I am going to go and click on apps. So here you can see I have my API token. If you want, you can also regenerate it. I'll just use this one itself. Now I'll paste it over here. So now this API token is going to help us to build a connection between ClickUp and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now we have some fields over here and we have to fill the information according to our API response over here. So first is workspace. So here you can see I only have one option that is Ashi's workspace. So here in my ClickUp account, I only have one workspace that is Ashi's workspace. That is why I don't have any other option over here space now under space you can see i have four options over here now if i go back to my clickup account you can see i have four space pabli dlfg junk and space now you can select any space in which you want to create a task so i let it be pabli itself okay now folder name now under this space called pabli i have only one folder that is integrations so i let it be integrations itself now list name now under the folder you can create many lists like under integrations i have all these lists already created if you want you can also add one more list so i'll add it okay so now i'm going to change the name of this so i'm going to name it as google calendar to click up Okay, so I have created this list called Google Calendar to click up and I want to create a task under this list. So I'll just refresh this once. Okay, so now under list, you can see Google Calendar to click up. I am just going to click on it. So task name. So task name, I am going to put this one meetings regarding new recruitment description. I'll just put the details. So creator, meeting, scheduled by Gary Monroe, fine. Now you can use slash n if you want the description to come in separate lines. Slash n. Let us search for some other details. Status is confirmed. So let me write status of the meeting so it's confirmed full stop okay assignee email so i let it be ashmita sony tags now you have to remember that whenever you're putting tag you have to put it in double quotes so i am going to put it here google calendar priority i let it be urgent due date and start date so here you can see you have to enter the due date and start date in timestamp format and that too in milliseconds. So what we have to do is you have to convert the date and time into the timestamp format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two action steps over here. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this plus button over here. And now I'm going to use date or time formatter over here because we have to convert our date into timestamp format. So action event, I'll keep it as format date only connect with date or time formatter. So now here in date, I am going to map the start date. 
it is here start date time i'm going to convert it into timestamp that is this one save and send test request okay so we have our api response so this is in timestamp format but the issue here is that this date is in timestamp format but it is not in milliseconds so we have to again convert it into milliseconds so i'm going to add one more action step over here so now here in choose app i am going to use number formatter and in action event i am going to use perform math operation connect with number formatter so now in order to make our date into a milliseconds what i am going to do is i am going to multiply it with 1000 so first i'll just map the correct date that is in timestamp format i'll put a comma and i'm going to write 1000 over here then in operation i am going to multiply Okay so now we have got our start date in timestamp format and in milliseconds now i'm going to save it okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat this step for our due date so i am going to click on this plus button over here and now in choose app i'm again going to choose date or time formatter action event is going to be format date only now here in date i am going to put the end time that is this one format will be timestamp So we have got our end date in timestamp format but now we are again going to convert it into milliseconds. So again an action step number formatter perform math operation Now I'm going to map our due date that is converted in timestamp format comma I'll multiply 1000 with it so that it gets converted into milliseconds. Okay so we have got our end date also Okay so we have got our end date and we have also got our start date and i am just going to connect this again because we want to refresh our workflow okay so now i'll come down and i'm going to map our due date and start date so due date is the last date that is this one and start date let us search for it it is here status i'll keep it as to do Okay so we have our API response that means we have successfully finished the integration of Google Calendar and ClickUp now let us go to ClickUp and check if a new task is created there or not so i'll go to my ClickUp account so you can see we have a task already created over here i'll just open it so you can see meeting regarding new recruitment and you can also see the description meeting scheduled by gary monroe677@gmail.com status of the meeting is confirmed you can see the tag was google calendar priority is urgent you can see the start date the due date created date everything is over here so we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine now i'm going to go back to my google calendar i'm going to create a new event and then we'll check if a new task is created in clickup or not So I'm going to schedule new meeting on twenty ninth. Meeting regarding audit. Okay, I'll add the time. Three p.m. Save. Okay. So now let us go back to ClickUp and check if a new task is added there or not. So I'll go to my ClickUp account. So now I'll just refresh this page. Okay so you can see we have created a new task again over here I'll just open it Okay so you can see meeting regarding audit and you can see the description meeting scheduled by Gary Monroe status of the meeting is confirmed and you can see the priority is urgent the start date the due date everything is over here So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example Okay so in our workflow what we did was first we created new event in Google Calendar after that we used date or time formatter and number formatter because we had to convert the date into timestamp and in milliseconds so we did this thing two times because we first converted the start date and then after that we converted the due date and at last we used clickup and we created a task in clickup so now every time a new event is created in Google Calendar automatically a task will be created in clickup so we have successfully finished the integration of google calendar and clickup using pabli connect not just these two software applications but you can integrate any software application using pabli connect 
If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pably.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pably.com. Thank you.